scholarship essays are one of the most important pieces of bringing in scholarship money. And it's also, for some students, one of the most painful parts of the process, but it doesn't have to be if you know how to really master that scholarship essay process. Now, we have tips even for students that hate writing, but that said, in today's video, I want to give actual examples of scholarships where students have won money. Because the thing is, even if your student fits all the criteria for the scholarship, if they are a perfect fit based on the criteria and the requirements, but they don't submit a strong essay, there's no way they are going to win. Now, also, if they're submitting the same essay over and over and they're not hearing back, they're not winning anything, then they're just going to get the same result, right? We need to make changes. We need to approach it differently. And so that is why we're creating this video today. An excellent scholarship application can truly make all the difference when it comes to winning scholarship money. In fact, we had one family, they found us at the scholarship system and they had been submitting, submitting, submitting and not hearing back. And then they went through our program, the scholarship system, and actually got an essay review. And that essay review changed everything. Immediately, she finally started winning some money. So again, in today's video, I'm going to show you why it's important to really look at essay examples, and then we're going to actually go through actual real life essays together. Now make sure you hit subscribe because every week we have a new strategy for you and your family to work towards a debt-free degree. Hey there, my name is Jocelyn Pearson, founder of The Scholarship System, where we redefine paying for college to help families build strong financial futures rather than ones that consist of decades of student loan debt. Now, scholarships, they are my bread and butter. In fact, I literally got paid to go to college because of scholarships, and we've helped families secure almost $13 million to date. Now, before I get into the actual examples, let's talk about why it's important to look at these. Some families might be deterred because you might think, oh gosh, what if we copy their essay? What if we're not original? But hear me out on this. We always want to tell a personal story. We always want to write our own essay, but we can learn a lot by looking at other examples. First, a lot of times those examples are responding to a very specific essay prompt. And a lot of times those essay prompts will show up over and over again. In the scholarship system in our course, I actually have examples based on the most common questions that we see on scholarship applications. That's because those specific prompts show up time and time again. We also have a video about how to rework the same essay to answer different prompts because again, we know a lot of the prompts that will show up a lot. Now that said, scholarship committees can definitely ask very specific questions as well. Sometimes they're very passionate about a specific topic and they want an essay prompt on that, but there are a few that we're going to go over that pop up quite often. Now, if you're not sure, before I get into this, if you're not sure how to even find legitimate scholarships, you're like, wait, wait, I don't even see any that require essays, then you have to attend my free training all about where to find legitimate scholarships with less competition. It's my six step system. You can go to the scholarshipsystem.com slash free training, or you can find the link in the description, or you can click the video somewhere over there and you can watch that. You can sign that up for that after this video. Now, the other benefit of seeing how students are responding is that a student, your student and you can get an idea of, hmm, do we have a similar story or do we have a completely different story, but a, a, a similar way of writing that we can follow in their footsteps? Maybe we can use it as inspiration for the formatting or the style or the voice. Another great thing about seeing winning essays is they should be really unique and compelling. And so when a student can read a winning essay and see how unique and compelling it is, that might inspire them to write theirs that way. They might see, oh, wow, I didn't even know I could be that creative and get those, those wheels turning. I'm going to point out some of the things that we've seen that are very unique. Lastly, it can give students an idea of their competition. See what's out there and see that they need to compete. Have them step up to the challenge because they're seeing, whoa, okay, wait, they put a lot of effort into this essay. I guess I need to as well. Now, it, again, this might sound like a lot of work, but once we get a winning essay, a lot of times we can tweak it and reuse it over and over again. So this is why that upfront work is so beneficial. Okay, now I have a blog post that I'm going to link in the description, and this is my scholarship essays examples that won money. We have tons of examples in there, but I want to pick apart just a few right now. One of the common questions that you and your student may see is describe a special attribute or something that sets your student apart. 
And this is actually something that we ask in the scholarship system. We give out money every single year. And this is one of the ones that we focus on. And the reason is we want students to see their strong point. We want them to see what kind of strengths they have that they can use to succeed in college and beyond. So you can see here an example. This is one winner that actually won one of our scholarships. And they started off the essay with, the day was May 28th, 2014. My, doc my doctor told me that I would need spinal surgery with rods and screws. And before that, I they suggested strength training. So you see how right off the bat, they didn't say a special attribute is blah, blah, blah. They actually started with a story. They grabbed our attention. They We thought, hmm, whoa, where is this going? What does this have to do with what we want to be? Now, later on, you'll see that this student is pursuing a degree in bachelor science. So, or sorry, a bachelor's degree in uh, exercise science. So that they were able to not just tell a story for the sake of telling a story, but they were able to clearly tie it in and connect it to what they want to be in the future. Here's another one, another special attribute, and I love this one. I wake up to the sounds of chickadees singing outside my bedroom window and the delicious smell of breakfast cooking downstairs. Okay, I'm intrigued, aren't you? A feeling of contentment washes over me as I slip out of bed into my slippers and I saunter downstairs and sit at the kitchen bar as I rub the the sleepy dirt from my eyes and wait to taste my mom's delicious cooking. All right, so they later, she talks about homeschooling and let me see here. I was a late reader and then she goes into the joy of reading and how that has helped her develop skills for her future. But still, so again, they were able to tie it into their future, answer the question, special attribute, but that opening story really captured our attention. Okay, now in addition to a special attribute, some other common essay prompts might be, what do you wanna be and why? Or what are your plans beyond college? Uh, tell us about a time that you have done something extraordinary. Why do you need this money? How are you going to use it? These are all very common essay prompts, and I have an entire playlist all around scholarship essays, but I wanna just show you one more awesome opening, and then we can wrap up. So in this essay prompt, you can see here, they talked about a time that they did something extraordinary with money. What did they accomplish? How did that shape you as a person? So this is a little bit of a unique prompt, but little pieces of it can be used in other essays. But they start off by saying, standing outside in the rain, shuffling through the wet mail is about as riveting as it sounds. I was going through a handful of car dealership coupons and bills when I saw an envelope at the bottom of the stack addressed to me and something that doesn't happen often when you're 12. Inside was an $800 check for a radio show I worked on called Adventures in Odyssey. This was my first taste of money and I felt like a millionaire. This is just so well written, right? It captures us, it engages us, we can feel the excitement and, uh, and we're curious, right? So again, this is another example of winning essays that, uh, that just have very strong components, very strong openings. Now, the last thing I wanna mention is we also want strong closings. We can, if you go to that blog post again at the link, you can check them out, but a lot of them will go to the very end, they'll tell a great story, they'll explain it with uh, proof, but then at the end, they'll wrap it up. They'll say, you know, this is why I want to be what I wanna be, or uh, this special attribute will help me succeed in college and beyond you know, or this impact of the money has changed me for who I am. And th that final wrap up sentence really shows the committee. I understood the prompt and I answered the prompt. So that ending is just as important as the beginning. Okay. So there you have it. There are actual examples of winning essays. Again, we have an entire blog post. I can't read them all to you in a video, but hopefully this is helpful. Just showing you some actual examples and why they were strong. Again, we have an entire course all about scholarships and how to win money. And a large portion of that that is on essay writing skills. So if you're stuck, make sure you check out that free webinar, the, scholar, the six steps to securing scholarships. You can go to the scholarshipsystem.com slash free training. You can also find it somewhere here on the screen. But once you attend that free webinar, you will have the opportunity to join the scholarship system at a discount. So I hope you consider it because there is tons more advice there. All right, make sure you hit subscribe because every week we have a new strategy for you. I'll see you in the next video.